What's up? It's your boy Chef. We're back again for another video. All right, today we're gonna be talking about the Tupac effect. Basically, this has been talked about many times before, and I'm just gonna bring my own verse to it. The Tupac effect is when a celebrity, usually a rapper in Black culture, gets murdered or dies way too young before their time. After this, of course, like it does with all celebrities, their screaming numbers go up. And that star gets bigger. But the Tupac effect is different. Because although when a usual pop star or rock star might die early, they might scream their stuff or buy their stuff after they die and give them critical acclaim and praise. In rap, they immortalize this figure. They make them some called the GOAT of all time. We didn't blow them up. We make them huge. And in recent years, when they die, we care more about them than when we're there alive. Now, this person might have had critical success while they were alive but nobody really messed with the music like that nobody were paying much attention nobody was saying that they were the great as in a large scale like they're doing now i give this respect in the grand scheme of things to buy these people stuff after they die and support them it is respect in a way but i also think it's very disrespectful and here's why you have people that have never experienced this amount of success in their life. You have people that literally will not be able to see it because we would rather celebrate and buy stuff from a dead person than alive. See, when we're alive, we don't try to uplift each other and try to list our stuff and try to have an open opinion of mind. We judge them. When X was alive, he had many critics. And a lot of people talked about his domestic violence charges, etc. A lot of people say he needed to die. A lot of people say he wasn't a good human being. When he died, some people still stay true to that, and that's respectful, because at least you didn't change. But a lot of people that had that opinion then said, he didn't deserve this, he was a good man, blah, blah, he was trying to change. Same thing with Tupac. You hear a lot of people saying, well, he's a gang bam, he's rapping the set, he a lame, he gay, he was dancing with Ditch on the ground. All of a sudden, he dies, he's immortalized, he becomes this great figure in hip-hop, and to this day, he's known as a legend. You have people like Biggie Smalls as well. You have people like... Bankroll Fresh, a small rapper out of Atlanta, who they gave a little bit of credence to. But that one didn't go over too well, because you see, 21 Savage was involved with his team. And since 21 Savage is not a big thing, people don't talk about Bankroll Fresh anymore. You have people that get shot on the daily. Many rappers dying out of many cities. We don't value their lives while they're here, but when they're gone, we then immoralize them. We then say they were taken too soon. But I think that's a false narrative. They were taken when they were taken. And the reason why that is, is because when they're alive, if you can make threats, if you can beef with someone, you can claim that that fuck nigga need to die. Then maybe when they die, just let it happen. So, that's a Tupac effect in a nutshell. It's a very bad effect, because although you support an artist by buying their stuff and immortalizing them when they're dead, let's talk about when they're alive. Let's see if you care about people when they're alive. Let's see if you respect them while they're alive. Let's see if you give them kudos when they're alive. We don't do that. We downgrade them. We talk about them. And then they're dead. This has been another video from your boy Chef. Signing off.